Another adventure going on today. So something different actually. We are going to wine country and we're going to have a little wine tasting. Our friends uh, Cindy and Barb are picking us up. So it's kind of like a field trip, field trip with the friends. And you know, it's been kind of not much going on for us. And I thought, okay, we're going to a winery. I'm putting dangly earrings on. I got dressed up. Wow. <laughs> I know, Mark's excited. Are you ready to go, Mark? I'm ready to go, honey. Okay, uh, here we are. Mark, what's yeah. with your glove? You'll notice I got dressed up too. When's the last time you saw me without a t shirt? A t shirt, on? yeah, good point. Yeah. Good point. You like my glove? Yeah, what's with well, that? Well, I'm thinking, okay, like if we go wine tasting and I'm tasting my wine, you know, that's pretty classy with the finger. But imagine this. Oh my gosh, seriously. I'll be using, I'll have that glass. And I'll just be like, okay, that's yeah. not why. No. I had thumb surgery, and it was a very easy th surgery. I had a trigger finger clicking, but you'll notice I have some stitches Dude, in the crotch oh. right where the crease is of the thumb, and it just, I don't want to catch the uh, uh, stitches on something. Here's our ride. Let's get it going. Let the fun begin. Our friends used to live in Santa Clarita for many years and we decided they should be our tour guides for the day. We took a two hour drive from Valencia Travel Village, which is where we were staying, to Roblar Winery and Vineyards in Santa Inez, right in the heart of Santa Barbara County, California. Hey Sue, what are you doing? I'm putting my mask on and we're going to have wine. Oh, okay, you're not gonna so, rob the place. No, so eventually the mask oh, okay. will come off again. What's the name of this giant? Roblar. Okay, how do you spell that? R-O-B-L-A-R. This is lovely. Look at the vineyard over there. Wow. I'll be back. Maybe bring my jacket. I'll bring your jacket. It's in the back. Cindy is actually a member of the Roblar Wine Club, so we had a complimentary tasting, which is good for up to four people. We also had a 20% discount on our wine purchases. They offer a full menu on the weekend, but on Thursdays and Mondays, they have a limited menu, which includes small bites and charcuterie boards. The Grenache is the grape with a little bit of Sangiovese. It is our first release of 2020 here at the winery from the 2020 grape vintage. Hey. And we just have our second to sign it up long, so things are just starting to happen now. So hopefully not all bad last year. Something good to come out yeah, of this year. Yeah, okay, right yeah. I'll, I'll the taste of the good. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So Sue and I, in about a month, will be going to Casa Robles. So we're actually doing a little training. Robles. Robles. So we're doing a little training here. We're at the Robles. Blair Winery and what I want to throw out there is the question is that does this look classier when I'm tasting my wine and swirling it around to get the rosé? <laughs> it's a white wine. Or is it better when I use my hand with the glove? <laughs> Like you're done gardening. <laughs> or is it better with my stitches? Oh, stitches, definitely. All right, stitches it is. <laughs> so now, no, no. Oh, no so now you can see the legs. This is real wine, not water. Here's really? the legs I like right here. Oh, yeah, baby. Boy, that um, is a lot more than the other one. Uh-huh. And what does the legs mean, honey? More alcohol, Excellent. right? 
more legs, and more alcohol. And See, we're, we thought we knew everything in Napa. Yeah. Uh-uh. There's more to be learned. And who taught you that? Wine expert. Cindy. Uh, <laughs> Alcoholics <laughs> Anonymous. Here I go. <laughs> and she's our driver. That Let's go. <laughs> And you can see there are lots of legs, but they're they're spaced out, so you know it's not super alcoholic. Okay, so they're spaced out. Yeah, I mean you got your legs. Okay. So here's the 2018 Triomphe Estate, kind of the uh, base note of the red wine family. Do you taste the basil? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's a, a D flat. <laughs> and after our tasting, I decided to peek inside to their 5,000 square foot tasting room, complete with an indoor outdoor stone fireplace. And then next on our tour was a visit to Fess Parker Winery and Vineyards in Los Olivos, California. It's only 12 minutes from where we are. Look at how symmetrical these are when you look at it. That tree and that tree and that tree. The way they're all We didn't have reservations, so we didn't do a tasting, but we did enjoy seeing the grounds. We're at Fest Parker Winery. And who the heck is Fest Parker? <laughs> Mark doesn't know who Fest Parker is. How many of you don't know that? It's a Daniel Boone thing. Come on. It's TV from what? The 60s? The 60s, probably. I know. And, this is and first Audi. wide world of Disney. There's no excuse. I wasn't born yet in the <laughs> yeah. 60s. So, what's this area here? the yard. This, this is so beautiful because you can bring your families here. There's a group of little kids and parents back there. Um, they're so spread out. What do you want? Shade? You got it. What do you want? Sun? You got it. This is awesome. This is the kind of place I would stay at all day long. So Cindy said, since we're in Santa Barbara County, we need to at least drive through Slovang, a quiet little touristy village. Early Danish and Dutch settlers in California were determined to maintain their heritage in everything they did, and most of all, in everything they built. And that's what Slovang is all about. From shops to restaurants to office buildings, they have all been built in Danish style. And now we're heading back to the RV park, but decided to make one more stop. We came down San Marcos Pass Road, or Highway 154, and then drove down a winding stagecoach road to Cold Springs Tavern. In 1868, a stagecoach company provided passenger service and carried mail, and this is when the Cold Springs Tavern began operating as a stagecoach stop. But then the turnpike was completed on the San Marcos Pass Road only two years later. The horse-drawn stage line eventually ceased operation in 1901. The whole history of this place since then is interesting. And it's one of those off-the-beaten-path, quirky places to visit. But it was so busy the day we were there, and parking was really hard to find. So we just kept going. Hopefully we'll get reservations and come back though. And that's our day with just a few things to do and see in Santa Barbara County. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>